Welcome back to another episode of The Cigar Guys. If you guys haven't noticed, my voice and my demeanor has changed for this episode. We're going to be talking about something very serious. Alex came out of the closet. And Tyler is his boyfriend. Okay, I'm glad that's not real because uh, <laughs> Mark was incented in the frame. All right, all right, bro, let's start. Let's start. All right. You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So, sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Cigar Guys. Uh, we are at another remote site. Uh, today, we are in Havana, Cuba. We got the yellow everywhere. We got a beautiful day outside. Um, we got a Cuban fan going to keep us a little cool. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about how they rate cigars. All right, you guys know how they rate cigars? I don't know how we rate. Cigars. I don't know how we rate cigars. It's it's both. Yeah. Please tell me. We're gonna tell we're gonna tell you the quote unquote official way, and then we're gonna tell you the cigar guys way, which is more accurate. Because you know everything that the cigar guys does, we do it more accurate. You know, but yeah, so. Go ahead and start. Yeah, we should rate our cigars as we do this. We fact check everything and understand nothing. I'm glad that Zach. First of all, thank you for that introduction. I'm glad you um, thoroughly explained to the audience how Cuban we are in this podcast, from the walls to the fan. You're welcome. Um, the only thing that's not Cuban is our cigars that we're smoking. It's true. <laughs> well, so here's the thing, right? You know. Cubans were stuck with one style of cigar, Cuban cigars, mm. right? So we thought we'd bring in the new world into mm. Cuba, you know, kind of bring in some firearms and militia. <laughs> <laughs> you could, we, we'll, we'll show them what, <laughs> what freedom really is. <laughs> so are you saying the cigar guys are here to liberate Cuba <laughs> again? I didn't say that. You said that. Okay. Who's this curly-haired bro in the corner? So we picked him up. This is our hand cigar roller in Cuba. It's your mother's cousin, remember? My name is Jeff. It's true. He plays the drums. Anyway, we got Tyler as being a guest on the, on the show today. He's smoking. Uh, this is actually the best cigar that's ever entered Cuba. Uh, the base of cigar. Um, we, can't, we, we can definitely argue that because it's the best cigar that's entered Cuba, not left Cuba. Well, yeah, because we haven't left yet. Good point, Zach. It's a great point. I'm glad you're on top of your game today. If you bring a cigar in a Cuba and you leave, is it a Cuban cigar? Oh, is it that exported? Same cigar? It's exported goods. It's a good point. Let's try it. The answer is no. So, does anyone actually is anyone familiar with how cigars are rated according to, let's say, like cigars aficionado? Yeah, uh, I've never. the companies pay them a lot of money for advertisements, <laughs> and they give them good ratings. <laughs> Isn't it similar how like small yays rate wine? See, sure. There you have it, right there. I've never actually heard of cigar. Okay, ratings. so do you know how uh, wine is rated, Jared? With a lot of money, uh, viscosity. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of different factors based on small yays opinions. A high level and the average cross for the panel essentially it's, it's like their version of cigar snob or scar aficionado but there's a lot more vineyards and wineries compared to like you know well i will snob say one thing that is not taken into account when rating a cigar is how it actually tastes it's all about the quality of the cigar from how it looks to how the draw is the viscosity the, <laughs> the viscosity the draw the uh construction and it's rated on numbers. So they have the total rating would be out of 100, as we see like 92 out of 100, 69 out of 100. That's pretty bad, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, flavor is actually not taken into account at all. Which doesn't make much sense, but. It, it makes sense to the extent of flavor is subjective. So. <laughs> you distracted me winging that thing around. <laughs> flavor is subjective, so it's hard to 
definitively say, oh, the flavor's not good? Well, not necessarily because, <clears throat> I mean, you could taste like certain notes. You know, I mean, even in wine, I feel like flavor is considered. You know, how it tastes, you know, the, how full it is. Viscosity. Um, <laughs> viscosity. The swirl in your mouth, you know. I feel like you do that just, just as well as cigar smoke. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying, according to the standard that has been given to us, which will, you know, we'll get to our version later. Maybe flavor will be taken into account. I don't know. But I'm just telling you how it is, according to the uh, aficionados. So you're saying what we need to do is make a really shitty cigar. Tasting cigar. Tasting cigar. But it'll have the best construction, the best wrapper, the best whatever thing we've ever seen. Just it'll taste shitty and we'll get 100 out of 100. See, I, I feel like that they have to put that though because subconsciously you're still rating the cigar by its flavor. So has there ever been a cigar that was rated a perfect 100? I don't think so. 99, wow. I think, is the highest. Really? So who who's the proud owner of that score? Uh, I think there's a couple. I think Padron is one of them. I was about to say, do they have like the highest average rating? Well, too, like they rate the cigars every year, so the rating could change. Like yeah. Padron's been in the top 10 every year, but they haven't had the same rating every year. So I know you guys have mentioned a little bit that the Davidoff quality has fallen off over the past couple of years. So has their ratings been falling down as well? This guy knows what he's talking he about. He watches the show. Well, back to what Mark <laughs> said about, you know, the money aspect. Viscosity. It doesn't seem that their ratings have dropped all that much. They're still in the 90s. A lot of 92s, 93s. Still an A. Still an A. Still an A. Uh, real quick before we continue, what's everyone smoking? I am smoking a 724 K Candelas. K Candles. K Candles. Is it Candela? K A Candles. So that was from. Uh, Mark smoking a candle. The cigar <laughs> shop in um, New Hampshire. Um, and the name's escaping me right now. But it's from the 724 Lounge, I believe is what it's called. I'm enjoying the Don Julio. Speaking of Davidoff. Uh, Davidoff does make this cigar. It's their Dominican cigar called Don Julio. Uh, $16, $17 dollar price range, I think it was. Maybe a little higher now. But, uh, Zach, what are you smoking? I am smoking the La Aurora ADN. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, the Dominican DNA. It's an ADN. Um, it's really good. We smoked it on an earlier podcast. Uh, Fantastic then, still fantastic. Had to age in a little bit in my humidor. Um, <laughs> it's a good amount of age. Couple weeks. A any yeah. age is better than no age. Exactly, exactly. No, it's actually, it, it, it's, it's good though, because um, I want to drop the humidity down a little bit from nice. the last time I smoked it. And um, no, it's, it's smoking good. What are you smoking, Jay? I'm really happy you asked. I'm smoking the uh, Cuban version of the basic cigar. <laughs> <laughs> We've established Tyler smoking the same thing. Yeah, one of the most premier boutique cigars that have come out of uh, the United States in quite some time. Nice. That's, that's did good. you say the most boutique? What did you say? Premier boutique. Oh, okay, okay. It is the most boutique cigar you've ever <laughs> Boutique. We're the smallest cigar company. <laughs> I mean, technically, like, when the cigar first comes out, is it technically the smallest boutique at the time? Depends. How Unless many it's El Septimo. It just depends what your minimum order is. True. I would say we might be the smallest boutique cigar company. <laughs> yeah, after hearing what other people's minimum orders are, yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's very possible. Very possible. I'm proud of that. So Yeah, we only produce one cigar a year, so. Yeah, one singular cigar a year. Well, it, it, it is about $500 for the cigar, but it's because we have to throw away so much to get the perfect one. Mm. Yeah, out of, out of every 100,000 cigars we make, we only keep five. That makes sense. Yeah. I like those numbers. Numbers are numbers. So back to cigar rating. So we're going to rate our cigars uh, at the end of this podcast. Okay. Uh, and Mark's going to use his phone to pull up the official rating uh, scale so we can like mentally fill it out. It's okay, you got time. 
<laughs> and then we're going to try and mentally take some notes. We're, we're in a little, uh, obviously this is a remote setup, so we're very limited on what we can do without tables. But we'll, Can you uh, take my cigar and ash it for me? <laughs> just, that, just put the ashtray right here. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Hmm? yeah. We're, we're remote over here. One thing we want to talk, one thing we should talk about um, real quick, just t- highlight it a little bit. We talked about it previously on a podcast, is um, sharing cigars. Oh, that's okay. disgusting. Don't do it. We were at the lounge, me and Tyler were at the lounge uh, two days ago. Awful experience. And a group of three people were sharing one cigar, passing it around. I want to let you know that they were all gentlemen. Well, that's how you after that. Now. That's how you get strapped out, I'm pretty sure. I read that somewhere. Uh, you're smoking a harsh cigar sitting in the back of the throat and then the next day it's even worse because <laughs> of the strep throat <laughs> yeah what? that was an interesting sight to see let's look up this cigar how yeah i mean I, I only share my cigar with tyler but like everybody shares their cigar with me a little bit oh i am not sharing with him anymore uh <laughs> that's how um you catch the the aids just a little bit of thrush never hurt nobody. Well, apparently some lady is suing a nail tech company because she claims that she caught herpes from the the drills that they were using or whatever they do over there. I think that might be possible. So uh, we did the research and it's very, very, very unlikely. It's like a one out of 200,000, one out of 2,000 chance that that would actually happen. So odds are, um, considering she lives in Portland, she was just hoeing around. Are we gonna put like, a link in the description to the source that? No, that's a separate show. You got to go to the Don Miller show. Um, date April eleventh, and you can learn about that story there on Florida Man Radio. But anyway, how's it going over there? Mark is illiterate. I'm not, I'm not in a rush. I'm just curious to see how easy it is to find this. Or is it like a secret? You found it? Uh, there's like a bunch of different ones. Just use one of them. All They're right. all pretty similar. We're gonna, so what we'll do is, um, after a little bit, we don't have to do it right now, but we'll rate based on their scale. Um, and then in the meantime, we'll talk about a different scale. I would say a more accurate scale. A more honest scale, maybe, we should say. It's called the Cigar Guys Cigar Rating Scale. It's going to be a little rough, right? Because we only smoke good cigars anyways. <laughs> so we're going to have some high numbers here. I've seen you smoking acid once or twice. Sometimes you have to smoke the less pleasant cigars in order to enjoy. So the official B spoke. Yeah, you got to rate about the first third, second third, and final third. By, okay, mouth, so. by mouth feel, complexity... Flavor and harmony. The mouth feel? But there's a bunch of different ones. Like, there's this one. Yeah, some of them do use flavor, but... Let me look up... Uh, fuck. No, I guess it? there's is, so many... Is harmony, like, their way of saying how the flavors blend together? Yes. Yeah. How, how does it make you feel? <clears throat> so we could do um, first, third, second, third, third, third. I guess. But I can't find one for like cigar aficionado and how they rate it. It's a secret. Just pick one of them, whichever one looks um, the most wrong, and then we'll go with that one. Uh, it seems like you're cheating. Well, I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Pick whichever one you want. This one, uh, pretty good construction, other than the burn. The burn's a little wonky. But I will say, unlike Zach's cigar, which has been brought to the optimum humidity, this one was definitely not optimal humidity uh, because of where I grabbed it from. So we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, but the ash is really nice. The draw is fantastic. Smoke output is definitely an 80, I would say. 80 out of? 80 out of 100 or whatever it's going to be. It's going to be like... 18 out of 20 or something like that. I don't know, but it's pretty good. The wrapper, based on the look of it, is it's up there. Not the best. Definitely not the worst. 
Uh, it's got some, got a few veins on there, but nothing terrible. More so. veinier the better, I'd say. So how's the how's the harmony on it? <laughs> uh, hmm. Would you say it's harmonious? Are you happy smoking it? Is it is it semi harmonious completely? <laughs> I would say it's um, leaning towards very harmonious. You don't look very harmonious. Oh, okay, okay, this so. one looks a little better. It is goes by appearance, construction, scent, draw, burn, <laughs> flavor, ash, smoke, complexity, enjoyment, and then overall. All right, I feel let's go like half of those could be objective. Subjective. That one too. Okay, so starting with mine, uh, appearance. It appears very well constructed. Uh, good dark wrapper. Um, what's the next one? Construction. Is Construction is decent. Uh, I mean, a little tunneling. It's burning a little uneven. It's going to knock it back a few points. Uh, let's see what else. <laughs> Sounds like user error. Scent. It does smell pretty good. Draw. Draw is good. What does it smell like, though? It smells like uh, tobacco. Uh, <laughs> flavor. It's 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 actually a pretty spicy cigar. So what does that tell you, Mark? What are the flavor notes in there? A lot of spice. Toast, tobacco. Is there sugar? Not really. Not really sweet at all. A little Much bit of toast. sugar. Kind of spice. What kind, about, kind of to What about everything nice? Is there a chemical X? Is it um, everything seasoning? It tastes like heavy, heavy, heavy red 40. Are you serious? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be surprised. Maybe it's some tar coming through. Uh, okay. it's, it's, it's actually kind of bitter. Um, pretty peppery. Kind of have like a toasted bread flavor. Yeah, you're, not, you're not having a stroke, right? You're not burnt toast? You're not... That's uh, if you smell it. I wouldn't say it's very complex. That's one of them. The ash is decent. Uh, enjoyment, probably like a 7.9. So. Out of 10? Is that what they're rating it out of? Yeah, <laughs> everything's one out of 10 and then you got out of all, all right, that. Right. And that, that would make 100. Yeah. So I'll give this probably like a... 80. Dun, dun, dun. 80. Okay. Okay. Someone in the comments add up his numbers just to see if that adds up to 80. <laughs> I didn't say any numbers. <laughs> He's like, so, so far I got 7.9. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how's your cigar? You want, you want to give yours a little rating right now? Alright, I'll do it based on the scale. Are you going to do complete number ratings? And I'll, I'll, I'll do up? my best to... Uh, here, do, do you want me to add them up for you? Oh, yeah. Sure, why not? All right, let me Thank you, Tyler. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's good. Calculator. Someone is very... Uh, Useful on this podcast. Let's see. Uh, appearance. I'm going to go ahead and give the appearance an eight. They're all the same color, right? Well, for you, they are. <laughs> construction. I'm going to give it a nine on construction. The scent. I didn't take a, a, a sniff test before I lit it up. Scratch so. and sniff. The scent, it's not doing too much for me, so I'm going to give it a a 6 for the scent just because there's not a lot going on there. Um, draw. Draw, put a 10. It's a really good draw. The burn, it's actually uh, evening out, so I'm going to go ahead and give the burn a 7. Flavor. It's a very pleasant flavor, not too complex though, so I'm going to give flavor a 7. Ash, I would give it a 9. Smoke, good smoke output, but it's not very thick, so I'm going to give it a 8. Complexity, 6. Enjoyment. Negative. I'll give it. I'll give it a an eight for enjoyment overall. Was that the final? That is the final. What do you think uh, the number was? Uh, I have no idea. It's somewhere in the eighties, probably. Seventy-eight. Ooh! Wow! Wow! 
That doesn't sound good. That's a that doesn't sound good, actually. It's probably better than that. <laughs> I'm about to say, Maybe I'm too harsh of a critic. Balling. I'm too harsh of a critic. So then All you right. can just read for everyone else, like, which one. All right, Zach, you're next. <laughs> Tyler, get your calculator ready. All right, we got Tyler doing the buddy. calculator. All right. Let's see. Who we got? Who we got? Appearance. Appearance? Uh, love the label. Uh, rapper looks good. Uh, I'm going to give that a 9.5. Mm, he's adding the points. Are we adding there. points? Like, yeah, adding points. Yeah. yeah, and then round to the nearest roundness. Look, it's pretty round. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like for the final. So if it's like seven oh, points, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's like seventy nine point six, yeah, yeah, yeah. just make it eighty. I hope it's no not doing point six. six let's not do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was making a joke. I said let's not do any point six. If you want to do point five, go for it. But all right, construction. Construction. Construction is solid. Uh, I've been ashing it a lot just because I don't want it to drop on me. But um, I'd give that a, probably about a, a nine. I'd say nine. Scent? Scent. I'd say scent. I don't know. I didn't smell before, too. I'm with Alex. Uh, I'd give that, you know, I don't know, like a... Let me do a 7.5. Let me do that so I can get that even number, you know. <laughs> All right. Draw. It looked, it looked pretty good. Draw is pretty good, but I will say it wasn't that great earlier, or when I had it last time. But that was because it was a little over. Uh, but I'd give it a nine. Burn. It's burning. <laughs> That's a ten right there. That's a ten. Uh, flavor. <laughs> Flavor is actually really good on the cigar. Um, it reminds me of a Besa. Uh, of course, a Besa is a little bit better, you know, but. <laughs> so it just misses the 10 mark? I'm going to give it a 9, yeah. A 9. Ash? Ash is solid, too. I'm going to give that one a 9. Smoke? Smoke's been pretty good. Uh, I mean, it stays smoking, so. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give that. A, uh, I'm gonna give it a ten. It's smoking. Complexity. Complexity. This is a pretty complex cigar, you know. It actually is. DNA. A lot of things going on for everyone's DNA. It's different, right? Yeah, the A's, the T's, it's, the U's. Yeah, yeah. Some something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the D, the N, and then the A. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm gonna give that one. I'm gonna give it a ten. It's pretty complex. Enjoyment. Enjoyment? I'm enjoying it. I'm here with the cigar guys. But, you know, I'd be enjoying every cigar that I've smoked with you guys, you know. I'll give it a nine. All right. And Tyler, the overall? The highest rating so far. That would be a 92. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Good. Solid rating. That's probably a more accurate rating than mine. Well, I will say, too, I am a harsh critic. Maybe a little more harsh than the cigar aficionados. No one's paying me to do this review. So it's going to be a little harsh. Uh, but to keep in mind, these ratings are just for fun, and we're obviously rating them in like the first third, so it really doesn't count. Well, now I'm I'm curious. Can we search up the actual rating of the cigar to see how it compares? If yeah, I'm curious for that. now. It should. You should be able to find it. It's La Aurora ADN. But yeah, obviously these are for fun. We're not. Um, oh, okay, not- so La Aurora ADN scored at 89. Mm. Oh. Wow. You know so what? They, they just didn't off. get... They, yeah, but they didn't get the vibes. You know what I mean? They didn't get the vibes I got. They weren't with the cigar guys. Yeah. That would have bumped it up a few points. Yeah, search, search up Alex's. I'm sure it's going to be much higher. I'm sure this will be at least 89. Because Don, Don Julio. I forget which size this what? is, but it's the... Alex rated his a 79? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just do... The Raya Supreme. I'm pretty sure it's the same name for all of them, though. Actually, it's right here. Um, no, that's the wrong one. That's um, actually the wrong label. Why'd they put that on there? So they don't have an official rating from... They, we, they don't have an official rating from a uh, like, cigar fish. Rating website. We'll call it um, cigarhub.com. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good Sounds idea. like a great name. 
is a great name. Yeah, there's no official writing number I, for I that. I can make a logo for that right away. <laughs> <laughs> can you find a rating from anyone? Not from like, not on like a half wheel or there's got to be one out there. If not, the cigar is officially rated a 79. <laughs> Let the record reflect. I might do a, a new rating in the future, but at, right now you stand at 79. Maybe that'll level the playing field for Davidoff. All right, so uh, we're rating the Besa. I know it's slightly biased. Right, it got rated at 88. Okay. That was close. I said 89. No, yeah, that was good. You said 79. No, I mean, I said it's probably going to be around 89. Gotcha. All right, CigarHub.com is actually taken. Damn. <clears throat> what about, like, um... XXX cigars? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> All right, let's write the base now. Scartube.com. All right, uh, which one? Which one do you want to do it? I will say that. So should we do it separately and then see if the ratings come out the same? I just do it together. An average as we add, go up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Add, yeah. It'd be like an eight. Yeah, we will just do it together. All right, let's go back. All right. Next uh, time we're gonna get a uh, third party to rate it. Yeah, number one appearance. I'd say nine. Ouch. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's all the label's brown, the scar's brown. <laughs> the label is not brown. He's colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all one color. I don't get it. I was about to say it's a very aesthetic cigar. The label does stand out with a color palette of gold and red. So I would say 9.5. Mm. Okay. Uh, construction. I'm so nervous. Uh, I'd say 10. Don't look at my cigar. It's, I, uh, I was chiefing it earlier. Out of all the cigars that I do not ash, the Besa is definitely one of the highest ones up there because the construction is so well. So I'm going to give it a 10. That one actually is not biased at all. That's entirely true. Okay. Uh, scent. Definitely a 10. I'm going to have to rate it a 10 as well. Okay. Uh, Especially when it comes like right out of the cellophane. Draw. Looks like a good draw to me. Hmm. You say this first. Draws borderline perfect. I mean, Oof. what else is there to say? I'll just say nine. Ten for bias, nine is normal. <laughs> okay. Uh, burn. Looks like it's burning good. Ten. All right. Um, flavor. Ten. Uh, Plus retro hell too. Ash. I mean, oh, ten. He had it right there. I can't. I can't uh, drop and scroll yeah. it back a little bit. But ten. Yeah. There's also a ten. <laughs> Insert picture here. Um, smoke, viscosity. <laughs> <laughs> We're changing it up now, huh? No, no, you see it's the just smoke. Of the smoke. I can't see you through the, the smoke. The output of the smoke. Exactly. Yeah, that's sad. So that's, that's a solid ten. That's solid dip. And complexity. Complexity. I don't know. I think it's just great all the way through. I don't think there's it doesn't change any much. math involved or anything. <laughs> no, not at all. Does it change up? No, it's solid all the way through. Okay, so but complexity like that, wouldn't be a ten then. Yeah, but complexity seems kind of weird. We don't we don't want it to change. Complexity means like, is it the same taste all the way through, or does it change at all? Not if it's good or bad. Just does it change at all? I don't think it changes, but I think there'd be a negative impact. Not necessarily. Because some no, people like to go on the journey of the cigar and have different peaks throughout your. This guy gets smoke. it. Tyler secretly works for Cigar Aficionado. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> He's like, yo, <"Yostig." laughs> If he did, I'm going to be pissed because the right. base is not getting a rating. From now, me. add it all up. This came out to oh, a. Oh, I forgot enjoyment. I forgot yeah, enjoyment. I was to say, we're missing it. one. Enjoyment? I mean, this is probably the most objective. Yeah. Answer of all, but subjective. That's what I said. I think you did say it that time. But I'm I'm pretty sure we can agree that it is a ten. Which would make us a ninety nine. Yeah. Ah. If you round it to nearest That's whole, what I'm I mean, about. you round it up to nearest tenth. Ten. It's a hundred. <laughs> Dang near perfect. That's crazy. You heard it here first, folks. Base of cigar rated a one hundred out of one hundred. Because in theory, if we just did it, you know. Add 10 for each one. Oh, man. 
All that ash. I know. I just got a little pocket of it. Speaking All of it, did, that it did go in my pocket. Hey, yo, jeans. I'll just save it for later. It, it was pretty good. Right? Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah. I was going somewhere, but it went there a lot better than I did. <laughs> All right, now how would you... This is how I would personally rate a cigar. Okay, yeah, let's dive into this. First of all, I go about looks. How does it look? How does the band look? Brown. Obviously. Um, this cigar, to me, it, this cigar looks good. The, the band, b- for us, is definitely a big part of how we rate a cigar. This band reminds me of a circus, if I'm being honest. <laughs> you know what? It kind of does, actually. It reminds me of a circus. I, it's kind of cool, kind of not cool. The, actually, I kind of like it. I'm going to give it... I would rate this... Probably. Now, keep in mind, Mark. Alex is sitting. Our right overall there. rating is out of ten, so you have to rate it. Yeah, uh, anywhere from zero to one. <laughs> Are you gonna come up with no, ten no, no, separate no. rating so, systems? Honestly, honestly, if I'm being honest, I just kind of add all these things up in my head. Yeah. And then I come out with a one to ten rating. You're right. You're right. You're right. So the appearance is good. Next thing I look at is flavor. This one is actually very spicy. A little more than I like. A um, little bitter. Uh, no sweetness coming out of it. And I always like, like on a bitter cigar, a little bit of sweetness to balance it out. So for me, this isn't that balanced. Um, Confirmed Mark likes flavored cigars. (laughs) No. Uh, then I do draw. The draw is good on it. Smoke output's decent on it. Um, and then I think to myself, would I buy this cigar again? That's a big factor for me. So these are all the questions that cigar smokers are asking themselves. Yeah, and then I factor in the price. Mm. So, like, how much was this? Uh, probably like seven, eight bucks. Okay, so it's not that bad of price. All right. So that that. So for me, if it's if it, the cigar isn't that great, but it's got a really low price, it helps it out. Really, it's fair. So I would probably rate this uh, about a seven nine. Okay, that's actually good. So it's an 8 out of 10? No, 7.9 out of 10. No, we, we go with the points. 7.9 out of 10. All right, Dave Portnoy. Yeah. Exactly. It's based on the pizza scale. All right, uh, what about you? Okay. All things uh, considered, what Mark said, the band, I like the, the band. I like the way it looks, but I feel like it's, they need some more contrast with the colors. I agree, yeah. <laughs> but um band's all right. The they had a good wrapper on it. Um the ash was good. The burn, I'm having issues again with it, so let's bring that official rating down to a seventy five. Uh and then um Ouch. what else we, the flavor I think the flavor's good, it's enjoyable. Um I would give this cigar a seven and a half out of ten overall. Hmm. Price, sixteen, eighteen dollars. So for that, I do enjoy it. I'd say seven point five is fair. Zach, nice, nice. Um, <clears throat> my cigar. First, looking at the the label, uh, the band. I think it's a beautiful band on it. Um, you know, you got the Dominican flag, but it looks like it's waving on there. It's unique. It's different. Uh, it's kind of what catches the eye. That's why a band is a big factor. It's, you know, you got to think of what catches the eye of a cigar. Um, the construction of it, great construction. Um, as you say, not, not too many burn issues, but I got a little bit of a burn issue right here, but that could have just been me lighting it. Um, but overall, smoke output's good. Complexity is good. Uh, price point, do another price point of it. I actually don't know but if i was to guess oh actually no i did look that up it's really cheap it's like eight or nine or ten like in that range it's eight to ten okay so, so for that, that brand means, too it's really good it would definitely help it yeah yeah i mean you know price point's a big one too because it's like that's kind of how we uh portray cigars it's like oh hey it's actually this, a big factor yeah you know oh it's a ten dollar cigar you know if it was a twenty dollar cigar i'd never buy it but if it's a ten dollar cigar you're like this is a good ten dollar cigar you know um, I mean, just like whiskeys, you know, you have a lot of whiskeys. You're like, I'd buy this, you know, because it's 10 bucks, but I wouldn't buy it if it was 30, whatever. Um, but 
for eight to ten dollars for this cigar, I think it's fantastic. I'd give it, you know, probably like a nine one. Uh, I'd give it a pretty high rating for it. Yeah, that's a good cigar, for sure. Jared, how do you rate your cigars? Personally, uh, the color of the look really doesn't matter that much to me. Um, <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> but uh, the flavor is definitely number one, and then price is probably number two. Because if I'm willing to you know, smoke it again, I'll pay for it again. Um, that's really all I ever think so about. So this cigar being $15, is it worth the money? Would you buy that cigar for $15? Yeah. But I also smoke this all the time, too. So that's about it's a guarantee. Yeah. Considering that this is one of the most consistent cigars, you know what you're paying for every single time you mm. drop that $15. We need to hire this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I he, would say... He, real quick, does Tyler... Is not a paid actor. Yeah, this is actually a last minute decision to include him on the podcast. So it's facts. If you, in fact, if you start carrying the base at Publix, I'd really appreciate it. They do sell cigars there. Maybe. But yeah, uh, the main thing I go for is 100% appearance and price point. That, that would be the primary. And then as a. Uh, I said previously was the consistency, so I know I'm dropping either five dollars on a consistent, consistently average cigar, but the price point brings it up. Or since this is a little bit higher of a price, I know I'm getting a borderline perfect construction every single time, and it's just a consistent, safe cigar to go and smoke. So, what would your official Dave Portnoy rating be? I would ballpark it at 9.8, 9.9. That's crazy. But my my, my scale is pretty simple. Like, the looks, I don't really care about, right? So it's just the taste, 10. Would I buy it again, 10. So 10 plus 10 divided by 2. (laughs) (laughs) That's what we call boy math. (laughs) It's basically 100%. Oh, my God. The thing I know for Jared, a lot of cigars are 10 out of 10. (laughs) Jared is actually a very generous... uh, Critic when it comes to cigars. I don't think he's ever talked bad about a single cigar. Well, I mean, I really he, he had about one cigar. I forgot what it was now, but he told me he's like, I didn't like it. Mm. I, well, the leaf, I didn't like that. That was that was terrible. Oh, there oh. we go. Oh. Damn, what would you rate that? <laughs> well, flavor was, it smelled terrible, and the flavor was just bad. So, would you buy it again? No, I would never buy okay, it. Okay, so zero plus zero divided by two is what? <laughs> <laughs> 100% zero. <laughs> zero. Jared, Jared's a big make it or uh, yeah. make it or make it or break it. it. Yeah, make it make it break it kind of guy. But, um, that's Jared, all Jared's nothing at all. One, he wouldn't buy it. Two, he would buy it. <laughs> but it's true, right? I only buy dark scars usually that are Maduros. That'd be very strong. Even over, overpowering coffee sometimes or whiskey. And I'm really biased towards Maduros, right? So as long as full body of Maduro or even stronger, we're good to go. So that's why I always smoke Padrones, Olivas. What I had the other day, Liguori Cubana S Maduro, it was super dark. With you, we bought that triple Maduro. That was super Camacho. strong. <laughs> yeah, Camacho. Almost maybe, oh, don't, don't quote me on this, bleep this out. It was almost probably too strong. Wow. But it was pretty Whoa. good. Whoa. It was pretty good. Whoa. Don't tell me what time he said that at. <laughs> <laughs> but, wow, okay. Yeah. Very cool. So, yeah, I think. Uh, Basically, over here at the Cigar Guys, our ratings are just based on like very our very honest opinion of overall enjoyment of the cigar. I feel like that's a fair way to say it. What's weird yeah. is no one in any of the ratings ever suggested a part of a rating would be, would you suggest this to a friend or a colleague? <laughs> that's true. Right, because I guess, you're well, extending your opinion. But if you would say like, yeah, I would buy this again, I mean, you would probably recommend someone else to buy it too, right? Yeah, but I, I think I really think they need to start adding the price points in these in the ratings. Yeah, because you could have a great cigar, right? And if it's a little bit cheaper, the ratings can go up. Yeah, I think the 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 thing is they're focusing strictly on the cigar itself. They don't want price to influence it. They don't want like you know these some of these other things to influence it. Well, let me ask. I think for the average smoker, even an aficionado, you know, you're you're, you're thinking about price. Well, we could start our own rating system. But when you say buy it again, I mean you guys buy. You know the unicorn every year, so you're telling our buying it again, but you don't buy it all the time. But that's because of price. So like, would price I buy this really again? Hurts. Would I buy this again? Yeah, but I wouldn't buy it every week. But that, buy it once a, a year. Yeah, but that's also a cigar where the price point 
It's fair for that type of cigar. It's that good? N- well, knowing the history or knowing how the cigar is made and the fact that it costs almost half of what it's being sold for, if not maybe a little more, then you understand why it costs that much. So I have something to say about price points. So it's a, it's a psychological thing that if something is giving a higher price, then you're assuming that it's going to be a more high quality, well put together cigar. Up, Timo? <laughs> for example. Yeah, you got a point. And so that could skew the rating to be less accurate. So if you're going to be buying a cigar that's upwards of $50, then you're expecting a more premium cigar, and it could skew the rating. Well, and that's a big thing with wines, too. Exactly. You know, like, you'll have a $300 bottle of wine that, you know, a sommelier will, you know, rate fantastically, but then the average person will taste it and be like, I've had a better wine that's 15 bucks for exactly. a bottle. Um, but, so yeah, I, I see where you're coming from with that. Uh, or it could screw everything up. We can take his idea in the inverse. When Mark buys a curly head that's like four ninety five, it's actually a super good cigar for the price, but you would never know unless you tried it. Yeah, because you, take, you have to take into account what you're giving up to, you know, take that cigar. If it's only a few bucks, it's like, yeah, this cigar is great. But yeah, like Tyler said, if you're spending $50 on it, the standard is going to be higher now. Yeah. Because you'd have to be willing to spend 50 bucks for this again and again. And if you're like me and you accidentally grab the Candela version of the Curly Head, you only wasted $5. <laughs> True. So maybe price should be taken into account. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's why Davidoff's falling off, man. The high prices. Well, yeah, that Maduro that just came out, their new Maduro. I think 43 for the uh, four by, what is it, 50 maybe, something crazy. And then 52 for the Toro. So it's up there. And then, you know, you really, really got to enjoy that cigar. Yeah, Davidoff is really, I feel like, used to be a really good, like, middle class smoke, you know? Like, you middle class, like, going on a golf course, you can grab a Davidoff, you know? Now it's like, all right. You gotta Get have up like there. you Get gotta up there. you gotta have some major disposable income to be smoking Davidoffs consistently. And in all fairness, we had a Davidoff the other night together. So did we? Yeah. Doesn't sound that memorable. When? It was, oh. it, it, was, <laughs> it, it was a cigarillo, but they still. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that might be the most bang for your buck when it comes to Davidoff. And it still costs too much. Yep. <laughs> They're really one dollar each. It's a pack of twenty. Yeah, with cigarillos, I feel like if you're spending a dollar on a smoke, like that's not too bad. That's like if you're like in Mexico, a drink costs a dollar. But know. when you cheap cigars like me, like lighting up a one dollar cigar, half it's already gone. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you got to pull out another one. That's true. So technically, your perception of price has stronger value because you're burning through it quicker. Scar philosophy, So a $10 cigar for me is actually a $20. $20 cigar for you because you smoke it twice as fast. Wow. They call me the draw master for a reason. Gary's <laughs> <laughs> like, I never thought about that. Maybe I should start smoking slower. <laughs> you smoke slower, you get more bang for your buck. We thought about that last time with those drinks. It's funny about that is that that was two nights ago, not last oh, night. Oh, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, you kept saying last night. I was like, what? I was like, I don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> you think I got to check my credit cards. <laughs> like, oh, you weren't there. You, uh, your credit card was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. When's my turn to get the credit card? Yeah, those drinks, I mean, what are they called the M&M Club? M&M Club? M&M, yeah. It was super nice, but... Pretty expensive, but at least we said he did it once, but we got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to see why you're very generous on when it comes to rating cigars. I think you're just a very generous person overall. Jared's a giver, <laughs> but he's also a taker. I think he's also... <laughs> I'm a big lover. J- very Jared's very keen on the overall experience. Is he having a good time? If he's having a good time while he's smoking a cigar, he'll gla- he'll gladly buy that cigar again. If he's having a good time when he goes to the very expensive speakeasy in Winter Park, he'll go back again. 
I spend one hundred and fifty dollars. I'm like, I need another d- double McCallum twelve. Sorry, we don't have that. <laughs> That's happened a few times. It's very sad. It, it actually, it's funny you say that because there's been a few times we've all gone to places where I'm like, yeah, do you have McCallum twelve here? And they're like, what? And then like when we went to place last night, or sorry, not last night, yeah, two, nights, two ago, nights ago, two nights ago, Jared, what? they didn't have McCallum twelve. They started at McCallum eighteen. And then the next one was rare cask. That's like uh, these machines starting at twenty percent tip and then going up from there. Yeah, I, I, had, I, had, to do, I had to do a small prey today and not click custom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. I was like, I just want to get out of here faster. That <laughs> <laughs> no, wasn't. It's, it's always good there. It's always fun. Yeah, that's true. So that's that about cigar ratings. One of the ways how to rate cigars, and then the correct way on how to rate cigars, which is our way. So, uh, Tyler, thanks for coming, man. Thanks for being on the first official podcast episode that you are on. <laughs> I said <was gonna laughs> that backwards. This, worded a little this, weird. this is your first official podcast episode. Thanks for being on it. Absolutely. Thanks uh, for having me. You guys, cool. Thanks for being here. See you guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. Or is that how you gonna sit? I don't know, probably not, why? Can you sit how you gonna sit? Yeah, it's unladylike, please close your legs. (laughs) Oh, this is so disgusting. <laughs> this is definitely getting flagged now. Oh my god, can we yeah. start? Okay. Yo, Mark's busy. He's got places to be and shit. Corona hasn't closed till 12 tonight, so you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm already two cigars in. I'm out. I'm not going. <laughs> Never give up. Never stop. <laughs> You threw me my second cigar. I'm like, ah, I had enough. Sound check. Mark yeah. is bent over. Yeah, we did. We do it again. <laughs> what are you doing? He's twerking over there. <laughs> We're definitely getting flagged. Might need to do a sound check, Mark. Check. Put the <laughs> put the headsets on. Yeah, just because Alex is like quizzing us right now. Make sure it's plugged in. No, are you retarded? Yeah. The bottom. The bottom has four holes. Pick one. Can you hear us? All right, talk how you're gonna talk. I'm talking like I normally talk. <laughs> I think Mark is the biggest bitch in this fucking patio. Okay, okay. Uh, talk. How's it going? Talk. Talk. We are here today for. Jared, is that, is that how you gonna hold it? How you gonna hold it? You gonna hold it like that the whole episode? The whole podcast. There you go, Mark. Get him. Let's go. You gonna hold that like that the whole podcast? Let's go. <laughs> Can't even. Lose. All right, you can hear us fine, right? I get. I can hear. It. Talk. Mark. Okay. Um, is. Talk. You moved your mic. <laughs> you moved your mic. Are you gonna leave it like that? Or are you gonna leave it over there? I don't know yet. <laughs> you know yet. We're about to say you gotta pick right now. Imagine having a guest and us acting this way in front. <laughs> What the fuck is that? I'm leaving it right here. You're leaving it right there. Yeah. Talk. Right. Okay. How are you going to talk? I'm going to bring it up to my mouth. Okay, cool. Good. I like this guy. Testing, 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 testies, testing. All right, you got, you're good. You're good. You can hear him? Is it the same audio level as everyone else? Yeah. Talk again? Testing. One, two. Yeah, yeah you're good. All right. All right. Do that. All right. Are we all, everybody set? Yeah. Are you set? Are you going back and forth? Testing. One, two. Oh. You'll probably be fine. Oh, oh, what happened? Is it not working? I'm gonna come. Oh, let me. Uh... Oh, it's fucking frozen. It's always something. A lot of bleeping you have to do, but. Can we just pay attention to the main topic? Shh. What is main topic? All right, for... All right. we're what? supposed to talk about how we rate cigars, or how cigars are rated. All right. Do you know? All right, welcome back to another episode of the Cigar Guys. It's not even on you. Oh. All right, welcome back. <laughs> it's still <just> so <laughs> Okay, okay, put it on me. <laughs>